Welcome to the NFL Week 9 Sunday Slate Breakdown here with the lineups team. I'm your host, Jacob Wayne, joined as always by Cody Maustrom and Will Schwartz. But we are talking about a Germany game, uh, the first of the season here. We got the Dolphins at the Chiefs in Germany. Um, feels unfortunate that I have to wake up at 6.30 a.m. Pacific time to watch this game, but I will happily do it because, man, this, this should be an absolute blast to watch. Uh, Interesting line movement here opened up about Chiefs minus two and a half. It's been bouncing around. It's actually down to minus one and a half, minus two most places. So definitely seeing some money come in on the Dolphins, which is interesting to me. But curious to get your take on this game. Cody, I'll go to you first. Do you have a side that you like on this short spread here? Yeah, I grabbed Chiefs minus two and a half on the open, and I hit them even harder when it went down to one and a half. I, I don't know if I'm missing an injury news or if there's something that we just don't know yet uh, before we are recording this, but I'm all over the Chiefs. And to be honest, it's the Dolphins kind of just have a tell. They're going to obliterate lesser competition, and they're going to struggle against the Leeds who field a good defense. Now, it feels weird to say that the Chiefs have a good defense after years past, but this unit's holding up. Um, they're making me eat a shoe or mouth in my own foot or however that phrase goes, eat crow or something like that. Uh, they're fifth in defensive DVOA, and a big part of their success is that back end. Third in pass defense EPA, second successor, and fourth in pass defense DVOA. They absolutely clog passing lanes. And if you're going to stop Miami, that's exactly what you got to do. You kind of got to slow. You're not going to stop their pass attack, but if you slow it down, you can set a scoring pace too fast for Miami to keep up with. And I think that's exactly what we're going to see. Now, one thing that can just completely muck all this up is um, an international game. We all know how it goes. It's, it's silly to say, or it's not silly. It's simple to say that international games just make everything ugly. Players don't want to be there. You lose training, you're sluggish, you're jet lagged, blah, blah, blah. But I, but I mean, it's a true factor that you actually have to kind of handicap. That does kind of scare me that the Miami might do a little uptick in rushing because the Chiefs' defensive weakness has been stopping the rush. But on the flip side, I just don't see how this Dolphins team is going to slow down um, Mahomes and company. Even with J- Jalen Ramsey coming back, Jalen Ramsey can't guard all, <laughs> can't guard everyone out on that field. Um, and Chiefs are in a very good position to just run it down their throats. Um, we no, we, yeah, we don't have a primetime player props video. I'm not a player props guy, but I would eye up some Isaiah Pacheco uh, rushing overs. But yeah, I, 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 anytime the Chiefs are under a three, they're an automatic hit for me. And even looking more into this, I, it stays that way. Chiefs minus one and a half, minus two and a half, anything you can get really under three. Well, you mentioned the Chiefs under three thing. And to back that up, um, Mahomes as an underdog or a favorite of three or less points, 19, six and one against the spread, 76% hit rate in his career. And yeah, I'm with you. I'm going to bet the Chiefs here. I'm going to consistently bet Mahomes in these spots. And I think you're going to win over time. Um, for, for what it's worth, favorites have done really well in these international games, 31, 10, and 1 straight up. Um, but yeah, like you talked about, the Dolphins, they faced the fifth easiest schedule this season. Talked about it with Wayne, the points against the Patriots last week. They beat up on bad teams, but they haven't beaten the team with a winning record since they beat the Bills in week three of last season. It's been a while. The only other team over that span without a win over a, a winning team is the Chicago Bears. So the Dolphins... They're fun, they're glitzy, they're flashy, but this is going to be a Chiefs win, in my opinion. Um, Schwartz, you've been higher on the on the Dolphins all season than the rest of us. How do you feel about this game? Yeah, I don't know why every stat has to be an except the Bears stat, but that's okay. I, I think that this is, this is an interesting line. I think part of the reason it's lower than you might imagine is that variance that comes with the international games. It's harder to know what you're going to get uh, with any team that's not the Jaguars going across the ocean. That being said, the Chiefs are rightful favorites. I got them at one and a half. I, 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 my uh, slow trigger finger kind of benefited me. I didn't pull it on two and a half, and I got rewarded, essentially. So I'm hopping in on one and a half. I'm only going a half unit just because I get a little afraid about the offenses traveling. And the Chiefs offense hasn't been the Chiefs offense in general, but Chiefs defense has come a long way. Like Cody said, they're top four in all the past DMX metrics, including pressure. And is a little bit pressure-proof. I mean, he's getting the ball out faster than anyone else by a country mile. Burrow's in second, and he's almost closer to fifth than he is to first in that category in time to throw. But, yeah, it's it's going to be a tougher one for the Dolphins' offense than usual. Chiefs just, they're turning into a gritty find-a-way-to-win defense team, which is terrifying when that kind of team also has Patrick Mahomes on it. But I, I don't think that this is going to be the game where the Dolphins beat their a little bit of stretch of ineptitude against winning teams. It's going to happen this year. That, that stat's a little bit fluky, and it can't go on forever. But this is not the day. 
Schwartz question for you. Do you think the Chiefs' familiarity with Tyreek Hill benefits them on defense in this game? Uh, in a word, no. In several more words, there's no sort of familiarity with a dude who runs like a 3-9 for, or, or a 40-yard dash. Like, I mean, he's the fastest person to ever step on a football field. Unless you want to just put everybody over the top, there's nothing you can do. And if you put everyone over the top, you've got the guy who's getting the ball out faster than anyone in the league. Which is, again, why I have faith in this Dolphins offense to figure it out in the long run. But, no, I don't think it's going to... I mean, the book is out on Tyree Kill. There's no... There's no mystery to how he's used and how to approach him. We've seen it done, and it's it's not like teams have beaten teams with Tyree Kill. Obviously, the Chiefs have done it, or te- teams beat the Chiefs when he they had Tyreek. And obviously, the Dolphins don't beat good teams right now. But you can't neutralize Tyreek. There's there's no level of familiarity that changes his speed. And until he starts slowing down, which everyone does eventually, there's no cover for him. Yeah. Last thing I'll mention is I, I'm I'm hopeful that the Chiefs won't have a heavy blitz rate here. They're seventh in blitz rate this season. I hope they don't try to blitz too aggressively because that's not how you beat him. But I think Steve Spagnuolo is quietly one of the best defensive coordinators in the league right now. And I think Chris Jones could eat against a banged up interior offensive line for Miami. So really interesting game overall. Cody, any final thoughts from you before we get on the next one? No, I honestly think we covered this one perfectly. That'll do it for us loaded Sunday of great games. So we hope you guys enjoy. Please like and subscribe, get notified when all of our prime time and the rest of our NFL content gets posted on YouTube. Check out the site for some written versions of this discussion. And yeah, we will catch you guys on the next video.